looking subdued but not humiliated, Abdullah Wad is preparing himself for what he predicted would never happen, a runoff for the presidency he's held for the past 12 years. No spring in the step of this 85-year-old anymore, it seems. With half of the votes counted, he said he's won 32%. And even though he would need another 19% to win, he wasn't ruling it out. Anything is possible, victory or a second round. It was like a different man talking compared with the president on the campaign trail. He was conciliatory, complimenting the other candidates for upholding the democratic values he holds dear. But what lies ahead is an enormous challenge for him. And this is the man who's now able to mount that challenge, Macky Sall, who was WAD's prime minister for four years before setting up his own party after a fallout. I was in his inner circle, so he should step aside and ask his supporters to back me. And from an observer, advice for WAD from someone who knows about presidential power, Alushagun Obasanjo. He was Nigeria's head of state until standing down with the country's first ever civilian transfer of power in 2007. You must be very, very careful of your psychophant advisors. They are your worst enemies. But also, he has to take the decision when is the game over. But that decision nobody can take for him. It looks like Wad has decided to fight on. Whether or not there will be a new resident in Senegal's presidential palace still isn't certain, but Wad's days there may now be numbered. Andrew Simmons, Al Jazeera, Dakar.